Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to lay the basis for what I'm planning on doing over the next few weeks, which is explaining to you Facebook gaming a little bit more in detail. I want to show you how you can up your engagement, up your follower and your viewer account as well, completely for free, just with a few tools that Facebook is actually providing you. And I think you're not utilizing to its full potential. So in today's video, I figure we'll just cover what kind of tools Facebook gaming even offers you because it's a lot a lot more extensive than for example what twitch offers you and by the way if you think i missed anything just stop on my facebook stream every monday through friday and we can talk about it there as well but besides that i'm luke if we haven't met before if you want to stick around like subscribe all that good stuff um but let's jump into the video the first thing you need to do in order to start streaming on facebook is of course create a facebook page right and there's a lot of videos and tutorials if you need help on how to create a facebook page for the purpose of this video we're assuming you already have a page though so the first thing what i really like about facebook gaming is first of all the new overlay and the new layout that they made a couple weeks ago but creative studio this is where you will find all the analytics and everything that you need. If you want to jump into a live stream, you simply go to creative tool right here, live dashboard, and you can click on set up a live stream. You can put your title and everything, your game all in here. And then you simply hit the go live button and you're good to go. Once you hit the go live button, it will bring you back to the dashboard. And this is where you see all the analytics about your stream. It will show you the stream information. You have your chat right here. You have any alerts, statistics, leaderboard, moderation, and you can even add different columns and move these around to fit your need. Once you're done with your stream and you just want to see how everything is going, the inside tab is where you can find your performance, loyalty, audience, even earnings, retention rates. And we will need the inside tool later in another video when I talk to you about upping your engagement so that the algorithm recommends your live stream even more. And this is where we'll be focusing on the inside tab right here. But what I want to show you today is the content library. And this is where really the magic happens. The content library shows you can select the time frame, but it shows every piece of content that you have put on your Facebook. It shows your videos, it shows your live stream, your posts, your pictures, all kinds of stuff. And the nice thing is that it compares your videos to each other. For example, the live stream that I had yesterday, it was this one, right? It was this one right here. And when I hover over it, you can see how that live stream performed on the average based to other ones. For example, it got 2.4 times less average view time than my other ones. On the other side though, it did get twice and a half the reactions, the more comments, more shares, and more one minute views. And the one minute views are something you wanna pay close attention to, and we're touching on in a later video as well. What is so great about this content library is that you can play around with different kinds of posts. You can play around with your titles, your thumbnails, your times, and you can compare your live streams to each other. For example, this one, this live stream I did at a completely different time than I usually stream. I also used a different title than I usually do. And overall, you can see that this live stream just didn't perform as well at all. Meanwhile, the live stream that we did this morning, we changed up the title a little bit. We went on a different time performed a lot better over time you will see a trend here and you can compare and figure out what works and what doesn't work facebook basically tells you with this tool what piece of content is working for your facebook page and what piece of content isn't working for your facebook page if you are posting over and over the same stuff and Facebook tells you it doesn't work for your page, you might have to rethink your strategy. You might have to change something down the line, tweak it a little bit here and there and play around with it, then come back to this tool and see how that affected your overall statistics. Besides the content library, you can find all kinds of different things right here. You have your inbox for messages as well. If you are able to monetize your live stream, either with stars, if you reach 100 followers and you overall comply with the policies of Facebook, you can be eligible for stars donation, which is basically bits on Twitch. And then once you reach 250 concurrent viewers, then you are eligible for maybe fan subscription, in-stream ads, all that stuff you will find right here. And Facebook will tell you once you're eligible, how far you are in it and then help you also set everything up. And then on here, you just have your settings to change your page and all that good stuff. But that is basically it 
Creator Studio is your friend as a Facebook gaming content creator. It allows you to set up all your posts, schedule your posts, things like that, but it also allows you to monitor and see how they compare towards each other, what is working and what isn't working. What you basically want to aim for is that every piece of content is performing as well or better as the previous piece of content. And if you keep that up, the Facebook algorithm will reward you for it, send more viewers your way and so on. But this is it with the first video of the Facebook gaming series, just a little overview. So you know where we were at in our Facebook page and what we will be talking about over the course of the next few weeks. If you want to learn more about Facebook gaming, stick around, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time the video goes live. I am not quite sure when this video is going live. However, if it's going live after Christmas, I hope you had a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will catch you in January when I'm back from my vacation.